this candlestick pattern right here is a clear example of a bullish engulfing pattern. In this video, we are gonna learn the basics of the pattern. How do we recognize the bullish engulfing pattern? We are also gonna take a look at why it is important in trading and how we can use it. So if you are excited to learn more about the bullish engulfing pattern, stick around. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so first of all, let's jump into paint and zoom in on the pattern here. All right, so the bullish engulfing pattern. So in previous videos, first of all, we have learned about the basics and the terminology of Japanese candlesticks. If you don't know the basics of candlesticks, I highly recommend watching that video before this one, and I will link it up in the corner in the eye. We have also learned about the hammer reversal pattern and the hanging man pattern. And both of these patterns are patterns consisting of only one candlestick. But the bullish engulfing pattern is a combination of two candlesticks. And actually most of the patterns are combinations of candles. So first of all here, the bullish engulfing pattern consists of two candles. And we can actually right away make a picture here of how it should look like. And it's basically the first day, the first part of the candle is a red one. We have a red one with a real body right here and it can have it can have shadows and it can also not have shadows. But it could look something like this and then the next candle is a green one with a larger real body here and that's the most important part. So this right here is an example of a bullish engulfing pattern. And we can right away here list three criteria for the bullish engulfing pattern. So what makes it a bullish engulfing pattern? Well, first of all here. All right, so criteria number one here is that the second the green candles real body here, so we can call this the candle two, the real body of candle two, which starts here and ends here, must wrap around, or in other words, engulf the first red candle's body. So by engulfing, it means that this level right here needs to be above the top of the red candle's real body. And this level right here needs to be below the bottom of the red candle's real body. This is the reason why the pattern is called engulfing pattern, because the candle wraps around the previous candle. So it must wrap around or engulf the first red candle's body. Our second criteria here is that, the second criteria is that the market has to be in a downtrend in order for the bullish engulfing pattern to be valid because the pattern right here is what we call a reversal pattern. So this pattern is only valid if that we have a downtrend prior to this pattern. And this pattern might indicate that the price action might reverse, that the bears are losing control and that the bulls are gaining strength. The third criteria here is that the first candle should be red and the second candle should be green just as we have it in this picture right here. In the bullish engulfing pattern, we want the first candle to be red and the second one to be green. The only case where we accept that the previous candle is another color is if the first candle is what we call a doji. And if you wanna learn more about the doji candle, I have a video about that as well, and it will be linked up in the corner in the eye. But all right, all right so this is the three criteria for the pattern. Now let's take a look at what the bullish engulfing pattern indicates. All right, so the bullish engulfing pattern is mainly a reversal pattern. So if a bullish engulfing pattern appears after a price decline or a downtrend, this might indicate that the price will reverse. But as always, when we use candlestick patterns, we want as much technical data as possible before making any kind of decision. So for example, looking at the previous price action is important, looking at the trend prior to the bullish engulfing pattern. 
we also want to take a look at things such as if the bullish engulfing patterns appear at a critical support or if it appears from nowhere. So now I think it's about time to list some factors that can make the pattern stronger and more significant. So factors that makes the bullish engulfing pattern stronger. The first factor is if the first red candle is small and the second green candle is large. So the smaller the red candle or the smaller the first candle and the larger the green candle, the larger the second candle, the better. So if for example, let's make a quick example here. If we have a red candle that looks like this and a green candle that just barely engulfs, this is not as good as if it would look something like this. We have a red candle here and a large and strong green candle. This is more bullish than this. All right, point two right here. So the second one is if the pattern appears after a very fast move. So if we have had a very fast and strong downwards action, the market is what we call oversold. And if the market is oversold, then a bullish engulfing pattern is stronger. A third factor here. The third factor here is if there is heavy volume on the second or the green day. And in converse, we also like if there are declining volume on the red day. The heavy volume on the second day indicates that the bulls are changing the trend with a strong force. And as I said previously, we also want to use the bullish engulfing pattern together with support and other technical data. All right, so now I think we are ready to take a look at some real life charts here. But before doing that, I just wanna make the disclaimer that everything in this video is for educational purposes only and nothing in this video should ever be considered financial advice. So now let's take a look at the charts. All right, so now we are actually looking at gold right here. And as we saw in the beginning, this right here is a clear example of a bullish engulfing pattern. We can double check if all the criteria for the pattern is in check. The first one was that the green body must engulf or wrap around the red body. And as we can see, the green body here wraps around the red body. The second criteria was that the market must be in a clear downtrend. And here, this is a very, very clear downtrend right here. So that one is in check. And we also had a criteria that the first candle must be red and the second candle must be green. And we can see that that is also true. And in this example, you can see that the, the bullish engulfing pattern here was the start of a explosive rally right here. So in this case, the bullish engulfing pattern acted as a very strong reversal pattern and the price of gold reversed after this pattern. We can take a look at one more example here. All right, so in this one, we're taking a look at the NVIDIA stock, a US tech company. And can you spot the bullish engulfing pattern here? Maybe there are a few, but there are only one uh, valid one in my opinion. And yes, that's this one right here. This is a clear bullish engulfing pattern. We have one red candle. The first candle is red, the second candle is green. We also have the criteria that it appears after a downtrend and the green candle clearly wraps around the red candle. So this is another example of a bullish engulfing pattern. This pattern didn't work as well as the different one, uh, but we saw a small rally after the bullish engulfing pattern, but then it crashed again. And this was maybe an extreme example because this was happening during the worst times, the so-called virus times you all know about. So yeah. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you found any kind of help or value out of this video, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys want to see more videos, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And please leave a comment down below about what you want me to do next. And uh, yeah, guys, for now, take care and ciao.